Good morning everyone, we Paddy here from Across the Shock and I've got a wee, uh, this is what I'm going to call a tidy up video. I've sort of, I've had knives, quite a few knives, quite a while now and I've tested them and used them and now I'm trying to clear up um, the second reviews of them as in what they've been like in use um, comparing them to other knives that I've got. But this one this morning is a really interesting, I've never done one quite like this and it'll be interesting to know in your feedback. What do you think of it? Um, I, I, rather than doing a separate review from each, because there's been so many reviews, I think especially on the cut jack, but also on the on the Kaiser here. Um, I'll, I'll let you know what they are first. This is the the Kaiser Sliver, which is the the higher end range of Kaiser, and this would be the cheapest of the higher range. If that makes any sense, it does to me. Um, but it has S35VN, it has beautiful design. Um, that by no means, like, uh, this is not a budget Kaiser. This is the, the, the lower end of the, the higher range. Makes sense in my head. Anyway, and this is the cut jack. And this is the three inch version. And this is just a basic work knife. Just above bottom budget. This is above my Ganzos. This is the next step up. And it seems strange to compare the two, but there's an awful lot of things about them that I appreciate, that I like, that I like about the companies and the way they portrayed them, the way they've pushed them. And uh, the, even the pricing is right in my eyes. So that's why I want to compare these. And I think a lot of other companies could compare contrast. If they'd done the comparison, I think a lot of companies wouldn't put the prices on at the minute that they're putting on their knives. So, anyway, let's get into it. I just wanted to show you the way they come, because Kaiser's come lovely. They come in a beautiful box with a pouch inside. You've got your cloth, and you have a beautiful knife. Um, and I'll set that to the side now, because that isn't the, the highlight. The knife is the highlight. And Steel Will does come. It comes in a nice box, cardboard box, all um, lovely printed. And it tells you all about the, the knife on the end as well. So, both... Both knives, completely different purpose, which is why it is sort of strange to do the review. I'm sure you're sitting thinking, but let, let's get over. This here is about a $40 knife. Um, everywhere nearly. $40 knife. This here, I believe now, I'm only guessing, is 65 to 75 range of Kaiser. S35VN D2. So... The price, I can understand why this one's dearer. One, the styling, the design. It is the most beautifully designed knife. Lovely swedge on top here. Thin blade, thin stock. Well, it's not thin stock, but it thins out well. They, they have it down to a very nice, narrow blade. Um, cuts a great slicer. This is a great letter opener. A great. Um, this is what you want to use for light duties. This is by no means a heavy duty knife. It just wouldn't, your hands wouldn't cope with it, although it is very comfortable. I fixed the one problem, which was the click. This clip used to sit poking up the ways and I just bent it over with a pair of pliers while it was in situ. Now, I was holding this, I had this clamped and just bent it over. Um, and it's absolutely comfortable now. I could go for a long time without any problem. But again, to me, this is, it's nearly a collector's piece. Well, it is for me. I love taking this out at night and sitting, playing with it. A stroke, it's aluminium. It's got the most beautifully contoured handles. Um, I'm sure that's CNC milled. Absolutely beautiful. Everything about it screams quality. Everything about it screams quality. Yet they haven't put a silly price on it. You know, the price on it, say 75 I'd be quite happy, more than happy to pay €75, pound for this all day long. Because I think you can see the quality, the design, the blade steel. They've, they've not skimped on anything. They've made this knife the most beautiful form and function. I, I just think it's gorgeous. And when I open this knife up, I, you know, you couldn't help but put a smile on your face on a dull day when you pull that out of that pouch. It just hits you up the face and puts a smile in you. It's got the most beautiful action now. Absolutely lovely action. Um, I, look, it cuts. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to 
look, it cuts like a dream. It's S35 VAN. There's absolutely no problem cutting with it. And it will do all, all the the small cuts I want to do. It'll do. But to me, do you know what I see this? It's not where I am. It's where you have your own desk. And I would have this sitting on my desk and used as the a letter opener and for cutting up small, small bits and pieces before you put them in the bin. This is just a knife to be used with not with caution because it has the good blade steel but it just, to me it's just so good I wouldn't want to put it into any sort of heavy use yes a bit of cardboard absolutely fine there's no problem you've seen that there it's you know this this is top class uh blade steel so you have no worries but again to me it is just this is my collector's piece this is a bit I love seeing but I will use it around the house absolutely but just in light duties I love it and what I'm putting it up against is it's complete opposite. For a price range for a D2 blade with an FRN handle, um, and you probably know where I'm going to go, this is like the modern day Delica. It is. It's a modern day Delica. And when you go back in history, you see so many people saying, oh, this is a Delica killer. This is the... To me, this has already killed my Delica. It's about half the price of my Delica. Half the price of a Delica and I'm getting D2 steel. I'm getting a better blade shape in my eyes um, for work, for good hard work. The point is not a temperamental little point. It is a good solid tip on there. I can, well not that I want to pry, but I can, it's a D2 blade. This has got so much work in it. Again, for most things that I do, it's just going to be, I mean, just look at that going through that. I mean, it's just... Both blades, absolutely no problem. But this, I just love working with. This, if I've got anything, I take it out with absolutely no fear. That, and again, I'm going to go back to the price. Say 75. I'm, I, I, this is a rough price. They don't even make them anymore now, um, which is sad. I know you can get them on the secondary market, and maybe there is still, still some in the shops. But I just want to compare the price. 75, I'll pay all day long. 40 bucks all day long. All day long, them knives are worth every penny. And I can't find a reason why they would need to be cheaper. And how many knives have you got in your collection where you can pick up and honestly say in your heart, that's worth that. That's worth every penny of that and I don't regret spending it. That's worth every penny of that. And I don't remind, I don't mind Tony Meter spending every penny on that <laughs> because he gave it to me and I love it. <laughs> Thank you again, Tony. But I mean, it is absolutely stunning. And as a comparison, they're just miles apart for what you would what I what I would use them for. But yet they are so positive as far as knife companies. And do you want to know the sad bit about it is for me? Is it, it, all the shouting and screaming? These are both Chinese companies. Now, I know they make uh, an Italian version of this, but these are both made in China. They're excellent quality. They're not copying anybody's design. They're just beautiful knives. And it's about time we stopped all this bickering and just saying, you know, if you like a Chinese knife, buy a Chinese knife. If the American knife's better and they come in on budget, buy American or buy British or buy whatever, but buy whatever's the best. Don't buy it through. I don't believe we should be buying things through patriotism. If there's two things that are the same price and the same quality, patriotism rules, it will win every time. But when you get two things, completely different price range, do exactly the same thing, I'm going to go for the one that's cheaper. Sorry, that, but that's, that's to me is, and you would do that in any shop. If you went into a shoe shop, you wouldn't, if there was an Italian pair of shoes and an American pair of shoes, and the Italian shoes were beautiful, the American shoes were beautiful, but the Italian shoes were half the price of the American, you would buy the Italian pair. So we, we need to stop doing this comparing China to America. Because, I mean, I'm from Ireland. You know, the community is a world-based community now, which again is great because we get to see other people's knives. We get to hear their opinions on the knives that we consider you know, work knives, budget knives, whatever. It's lovely. And it's not just um, in my eyes. Um, 
us against China. China now are, are making knives that are just out of this world. But they're doing the budget. They can still do the budget thing, right? Their higher end knives, I think, are way overpriced now. I think they're now getting on the bandwagon and jumping in trying to make the buck. These two companies, Kaiser and uh, the likes of Cutjack and, and a few of the other steel, this is steel wheel, sorry, um, but a few of the other Chinese companies in the, the budget to mid range are pricing their knives right. So they're selling. They're absolutely selling. Then you get something like Benchmade that come out with a bug out, right? Benchmade have got a habit of putting high prices on things. But I don't even think they over... I've ordered a bug out. You've heard me taking the mickey out of bug out. But I've always said I love it. I have ordered one because I got money for Christmas on my birthday. Um, I don't have the patience to wait to see it for my grill knife. I had enough to get a budget. I was helped out um, from one of my kind subscribers. Love them knives. Um, who's get the, who got the knife for me. Uh, and is posting it over to me. So, I mean... I love something when it's priced. I believe the bug out is priced right as well. It's got a good steel. It's form function. It's a brand new knife. I have to put money into design. Yes, it's worth it for me. And everybody is different. So what is my point of this? this? My point is I can have two completely different knives. You know, one's a budget work knife. This is, I, I can't tell you how much I use this. This, never mind use it since I put that thumb stud on it I have the wee thumb stud on the top of it and it now gives me another method of deployment I, it's now wore in completely it flicks out beautifully but I've now got the thumb stud deployment so that when I'm out if I want to just draw it out I just draw it out slowly and I'm not going to scare people so that has been a great thing so it now makes it absolutely lovely to footer with I love playing with it. I love just sitting there fiddling. Rather than just flicking it out all the time, I can just lift it up. I can go down. I can flick it out. I can do whatever. I have three methods of opening where I only had one. So that made that knife even better. This knife, I just smile. It brings happiness to my day. When I take it out of that pouch and I'm doing a picture, picture for Instagram, it just brings me happiness i put it in hand it's really comfortable now and i would only be using it for light work so i'm never going to get a hot spot because i'm not going to do hard work with it this is just this is what i would call a desk knife and light duties but more importantly this is a knife for me to take out of my little pouch that it's kept in and i take it out and i stoke it because it feels there's a an organic feeling to it. Do you know what I mean? Gosh, I am such a wolf. I just, but it's true. Do you know what I do? It, it sounds like oh, Stephen's getting all romantic. And I am getting romantic because that's the way knives make me feel. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's a dirty old work knife, get down in the dirt. I love it. And then a lovely, beautiful. This is the, the, the picture that hangs on my wall. And then you have Lord JT's knife at the front. Um, so look. They are weird comparisons, but I wanted to compare them just for the price that I think there's two different companies and they got their price right. They're not competing against each other, but their, their materials, their design, they got the price right. They really did. And, you know, they will... A company that's going to do this, and like Kaiser has about three different models now, Steel Will has this and it has Italian made, which is M390. This is all in D2. D2 to me is one of the best working steels you get because you're not going to be frightened. If I, if I had had that in 390, I'd be frightened to use it in case I damaged it. And I do not, that's wrong. That's not well for me. That's wrong. I'm not a collector, I'm more of a user. I say I'm not a collector, but this is a collector's piece. This is a collector's piece. So things are changing, you know what I mean? In a year's time, I might look back at this and think, Stephen, what a prat. Do you know what I mean? Get all of it, Paddy. So, I hope you enjoyed that. To say that I like these two knives, an understatement. Would I recommend them? 100%. I have no problem recommending them. This is a work knife. This as a... Um, 
you'd probably get a. I mean, that's a big blade. It's eight and a quarter inches long. That I, but you would probably get away with that in an office, just for the way it looks. You know, when you take this out and you hold it like this, it it shows nothing. People are not going to be scared because the colour takes away from a, a scary knife. So you might be able to in a, an ordinary office, but if I had my own office and a desk, that would be sitting on it beside my wooden nameplate and my Paddy's Potato Peeler's Knife from JT. So <laughs> there we go. Strange one, I know. Um, let me know if you like it. Take care. Thank you so much. I'm away for the usual cup of tea. Bye-bye now. Bye. -bye,